how to do any custom design changes to Square Online or Square Up or Square. Well, I wrote this little blog post, but I, now I wanted to update it because I found a much better way. Basically, you're going to create a free Amazon bucket or just book any kind of free web hosting or, you know, cheap $2 web hosting package. Any place where you can host a static CSS file. I like Amazon because it's free for my purposes. Then you will copy paste this little snippet to your tracking tools here and update the update the style sheet uh, location. Great. And now when we refresh, we will be able to fully edit anything. So just to demonstrate, let's um, make everything everything red just for a quick little demonstration to show you that we indeed have the full control here all right well not the prettiest looking website but You get the point. Okay, let's have a couple of more practical examples. Okay. So how about we just, I don't know, just pick a random element like this little thing here. And let's say that we want, we want to change its background. How about we make it white like this? I mean, this maybe pops a little bit more, but maybe this looks even more elegant, like a nice little hovering button here, just floating. I like that. Let's do that. So now that I coded it here in Chrome, of course, when I refresh, it'll be gone and it won't be shown to any anyone else but when I add it to my custom CSS file hosted on my little Amazon bucket and embedded or added to my square online now when I refresh we're gonna see those styles applied to everyone let's take a more practical uh, well that was pretty practical but let's take something uh, a lot of people want. So we're going to go to Google Fonts. And we're going to install, for example, this lovely looking custom font. So I'm going to use the import method. And I'm just going to copy, copy the Google Font stuff here to my CSS file. First the import and then the font family and I'm actually just gonna apply this to every element on my website hit save and now well because we are using a sans serif I'm gonna open this in a new tab so you can see what's going on all right so this was the original one this is the new Google font, original Google. A subtle difference as they're, you know, kind of both sans serif fonts, but when you compare them side by side, you can clearly see that the custom font has been installed. So using this method, sky's the limit. You are pretty much free to customize anything and everything. Uh, let's take one more example. I don't like those borders um, at all. Okay, that's a pretty heavy code line. I could probably make it a little bit cleaner, but for demonstration, I hope this will do. So now when I refresh, No more ugly borders here. All right, so this is the way to add custom CSS to Square. 
and have any custom designs on Square. If you would like help, uh, you can get in touch. You can hire me to um, do any kind of custom CSS stuff here to create your wildest design um, ideas to life. So definitely be in touch if you are not that comfortable with custom CSS and you would like some professional help. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a lovely day.